Remember when Kamala backed reparations? Roll it. But in the area of reparations for descendants of Africans and slaves, if you elected president, would you sign that bill if it came across your desk? When I am elected president, I will sign it. And then she laughed and laughed and laughed. Tyrus, that was from 2019. It's amazing how we can find these clips, but the media, the rest of the media can't. And she was signing a bill that would create a commission to study reparations. What do you make of that? Oh, that's a big ass check you're gonna have to cut to the entire world. Yeah. <laughs> because everybody's been a slave at one time or another in their ancestry, so everyone gets a check. Mm. So you have to figure that out who's who. Including and the what's... checks. Yeah, including the, yeah, the checks too. <laughs> You know, so I mean, the, the word slave is Slavic because the Slavic people were slave the most. They got the name. If it was us, it'd be called the brothers. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, reparations is, is ludicrous and stupid. I don't need reparations. I need opportunity, and I got my opportunity, and I ran with it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I keep your money. <laughs> and bottom line, we don't know who was black then, who's white now, who's black. You could have been... You know what I'm saying? Like, there's all kinds. Go to Louisiana. Try to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what, who's who, what's what. And you could have been, you could have been a brother strolling into Canada right after. Like, oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. So who knows? Yeah. And like I said, you, you could have been black then and you're white now. You might find out that old, you know, great, great, great grandpa was old, was old Frederick Gutfeld. Yes. You know? <laughs> so maybe you get the check. Frederick. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> Joe, you were a slave once, but that was in Larry Kudlow's playroom. <laughs> um, do, you, do you deserve reparations from the, all that, that time we all came over and... It's still being litigated uh, right now. <laughs> Great, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, you could just... It, Kamala will agree to anything if you put her in front of an audience that thinks that's popular. Like, she could promise us unlimited cheese if she was talking to The View. <laughs> But my favorite part about that was the, the phone call with the, the earbuds in. Yeah. It's, like, it's like when I invited you to my Labor Day barbecue uh, and you pretended to be talking to a banana. It's, it's <laughs> like, it's amazing to me that someone who lies so often is so bad at it. Like, I lie all the time, but I'm good. Like, when you said, uh, Joe, uh, I'm denying your request off. I pretended I didn't hear you because I, I, I blasted too much Ann Murray. <laughs> You're always trying to work Ann Murray into this show, and it's, you know, it's getting to be really irritating. <laughs> Although she's a great Canadian songstress. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right, I want to, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Douglas. I always... Anne. He's got Fredericks. He's worried about having a black great-great-grandfather right now. <laughs> There's this um, weird thing where uh, uh, she spoke with an accent in Detroit and then used a different accent in Pittsburgh. Let's roll that. You better thank a union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Thank unions for sick leave. Thank unions for paid family leave. Thank unions for your vacation time. That is amazing, the change. Like from Pittsburgh to Detroit. Do you think that happens with the time change? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, she's not the first politician to do this. Yes. So not the first, not the, not the first Democrat. Hillary Clinton was very good at this, mm -hmm. and AOC is a master of it. Yes. And if uh, if uh, Kamala Harris wants to really uh, go down this route, she should follow AOC and do that thing when she starts to bounce around yes. the stage and undo her hair as if she's at a pop concert. And I yes. Think that was I all, love that. That was one of the best. Yes. I uh, wish I wish I could see more of that. Yes. From our, all of our politicians, including Lindsey Graham. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say stop. Yes, Charlie. <laughs> A lot of fun things in this block. You got her with the accent. You got her with the earbuds and yeah. the phone. You got the reparations. What, sp what sparks your fancy? Uh, the accents, 100%. Yes. I hear these accents, and I'm just like, what is wrong with you? And what is wrong with your campaign team that clearly is encouraging you to still go on with these ridiculous accents no matter where you go because they know that she can't run on policy because we've all seen her website. Still yeah. no policy page, right? Uh, so they're like, you know what, why don't you pander to your audience by hoping that they'll relate to you by, you know, the fact that you might sound like them, even though who does she sound, who talks like that? 
And nobody talks like yeah. that. Uh, but that's how dumb she thinks her voters are. They're, she's hoping that that's how she can gain their support just by pandering to, her, to them in that type of way. All, I, all I'm saying is let's send her on an international world tour. Day to day, different country. See how she does. <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Coming up, Tim Waltz's own blood slings some mud. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.